So let's solve a problem that demonstrates a uh, few concepts. Uh, conservation of momentum, we'll, we'll, we'll apply conservation of energy also, and then we'll also uh, demonstrate Newton's uh, second law. So, so in this problem, what we have is uh, there is a block, and then there is a bullet coming towards the block. Okay, so, so there's a block over here, all right, and then there's a bullet coming towards it. And then what happens is the bullet gets embedded in the block. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we have to find the expression. So let's say the velocity of the bullet is V. Uh, the bullet uh, gets embedded in the block, right? And then we have to solve for this velocity V. So what's going to happen is the block is going to move some distance D, right? <coughs> um, so this distance is d, right? And so, um, and so this this surface is rough, obviously, because that's where the block eventually stops. So well, it's a rough surface, right? And and so so let's let's first apply conservation of momentum in this case. Right? So initial velocity of the block is zero, and then. Uh, the block gets uh, the bullet gets embedded in the block, so the bullet is uh, still in there when the block stops. Right. So um, so let's see. Let the first step is to apply conservation of momentum. Right. So let's say that when the bullet when uh, the bullet gets embedded, they both move at the velocity v prime together. So so initially the bullet the uh, let's call the mass of the bullet small m and the mass of the uh, velocity of the bullet is v, right? So this is the total initial momentum. The, the big block is not moving. It's called the big block's mass capital M, right? And then uh, when the bullet gets embedded in the block, their total mass is small m plus m, the mass of the bullet plus the mass of the block, and then they both move with velocity, some velocity v prime. And so what we have to do is we have to find the velocity uh, of the bullet v and so let's divide over by m so let's call this equation uh let's call this uh equation one this is our equation one so now how do we get v prime so this is right after the bullet gets embedded and uh so this is that step in between where the bullet gets uh embedded in the block and they both are they both start with that, that initial velocity v prime so let's uh make that picture in between right and so <clears throat> so what what we can do now is we can uh, apply Newton's second law right to uh, get an expression for v prime and so let's see how do we do that so let's draw that over here so now uh, initial velocity so we can use remember we have an equation that uh, that we can use so the final velocity of the block is zero initial velocity is v prime so so we can use an equation uh so we, we remember this equation we have square equals vi square plus 2a uh, d in this case that's a displacement so now because we um uh when, when i give you numbers the d would be known so we'll uh, we'll plug in that so v final is zero right right and so zero equals initial velocity is v prime so that's v prime squared uh, plus 2a d. Now again, what is a? So that's where Newton's second law comes in. Uh, so uh, so when the block is moving, so let's draw a picture over here. Um, so when the block is moving, so that's where somewhere in between where it's moving, the, the forces that are acting on the block are um, the obviously the normal force, the weight of the block, and then there is friction. Right? So kinetic friction is the only force acting on the block. So if we write down Newton's second law in this case, this is normal, this is weight. Uh, so we get uh, uh, minus kinetic frictional force, the net force equals mass times acceleration. And so uh, and so what you can do is you can uh, plug in what this is mu k. And remember, net normal force in this case is weight. It's a flat surface. That's equal to mg. So mu k times mg. Uh, equals mass times acceleration, so m cancels out. So a is just equal to minus mu k times g. And so we're gonna use this in that equation. 
Uh, so we get v prime squared equals uh, minus two mu. Uh, sorry, this this becomes plus. So so this becomes because if you take it to the other side of the equation, it becomes plus two mu k g and times t. And so v prime equals square root of two times mu k times g times t. So that's your equation for uh, mu k. And and now, so I'm going to bring in numbers now so that we can, uh, so we have this v prime now. And what we, the only thing we need to do is plug this into uh, uh, v into equation one. So, so let's call this equation two. So we just need to plug two and one uh, to get our uh, answer. So, so let's say that uh, the, the mass of the bullet, now I'm going to uh, write numbers. Let's use a different color for that. So, um, the mass of the bullet is uh, small m, so that's equal to, let's use 10 grams for that. And, um, and mass of uh, the block is one kilograms. Uh, mass of, uh, sorry, the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.2, and the distance d is uh, four meters. Okay, so when you plug it, uh, don't forget to convert this into a kilograms. It's just uh, um, 0 0.01 kilograms, right? So, um, so if you plug in those numbers, you get four meters per second. So G is, we're using G as 9.8 meters per second squared. So you get four meters per second. So this is the velocity of the block plus uh, bullet together. So now if you plug this in, right? Uh, v is just going to be, uh, uh, sorry, v is, just, v is just equal to, so this is our equation uh, 1. So v is just equal to m plus m, capital M, divided by small m times v prime. And so this is um, uh, 0 0.01 uh, kilograms plus 1 kilograms divided by uh, 0 0.01. Uh, kilograms, so the kilogram cancels out uh, times v prime, which we got as four meters per second. And so, if you simplify this, you get four hundred meters per second, which makes sense because the bullets move fast. Right? So, so this is how uh, you get the velocity of the bullet. So you can see that you know we have demonstrated a few things over here. We have demonstrated the conservation of momentum. Uh, so the block when it, uh, the the bullet when it kind of gets embedded in the block, the momentum uh, is conserved. It's a perfect in, a, in elastic collision. And then in the second step, we applied Newton's second law. And then within that step, we uh, sorry we in, we used uh, equations of motions in the second step. And within that step, we also applied uh, Newton's second law on the block to get an expression for the acceleration. And um, and then. Um, when I said conservation of energy, you can also solve this with conservation of energy. We did a problem similar to that. So uh, you get you get a similar expression if you say uh, that the initial energy of the block is just equal to E final plus delta E thermal. And so delta E thermal would be uh, force of kinetic friction times D. So that's also another way to do that. <clears throat> but this is also completely fine. You get the same result. So, so um, oh, we'll also solve another problem where uh, we'll see that it's a very similar process where you uh, apply conservation of momentum and then conservation of energy uh, for a ballistic pendulum. Let me know if you have any questions.